who knew casting calls could be so entertaining? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hilarious celebrity audition tapes. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at audition tapes from celebrities who settled their nerves enough to give us a laugh. Number 10, Ellen Page, Juno. I'm saying pregnantly. Shh, dude, keep your voice down, okay? My mom is like around here somewhere. She doesn't know we're sexually active. What, is it, what does that even mean? Ellen Page definitely brings her own style to acting, and it really shows on this screen test for the independent cult classic, Juno. Here, we find Ellen Page and Olivia Thirlby auditioning for their roles as Juno and Leah respectively. While Thirlby's definitely special in her own right, Paige's description of her visit to the doctor's office is spot on. What are you doing here, dumbass? I'm supposed to come pick you up at four. I couldn't do it, Leah. I couldn't do it. I mean, you should have smelled this place. It was like a dentist's office or something, and there were those those bad magazines lying around everywhere, the ones with those like horrible spritz, cookie recipes, and bad fiction. Not to mention her nonchalant convo about what to do if she keeps the baby. Adorable and hilarious, the undeniable proof that Paige was meant for the role is right on the screen. What? You gotta be kidding me. People put ads in the penny saver for babies? Number 9, Scarlett Johansson, Jumanji. I've got $67.08. That'll get you to New York. What are you gonna go after that? Some place where I don't have to go to moron school. Fun fact, Kirsten Dunst wasn't the only future celeb to audition for this 1995 hit movie. A young Scarlett Johansson gave her a run for her money. Kind of. Well, she turned up anyway. We don't know if little Scarlett was just having a bad day, but eyeball rolls and a lack of enthusiasm show she clearly didn't want to be there. At first she will, but everybody will be better off this way. She is a kid though, so maybe her nerves got to her. Even though she missed her chance to work alongside Robin Williams, she ended up building a career of her own, including fighting bears, aliens, and everything in between. Number 8, Russell Brand, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yes, the sex was tremendous, but it's not horseback riding, is it? We know Russell Brand is a pro at what he does, but he raises the bar to a new level here. In a completely improvised scene for his audition for 2008's Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Brand passive-aggressively argues with his audition partner about wanting to go horseback riding, while she wants to stay in the imaginary hotel and order room service. The, the horseback, interesting you should mention horseback riding, because I'd mm. like to do that. Horses, imagine it, the equine beauty, you and I upon horses, noble. Mm? <laughs> Staying in character, Brand manages to keep the jokes coming, leaving the crew laughing throughout. In fact, he keeps it up for four minutes of solid entertainment. No wonder Brand was the best choice for the role of Aldous, Marshall's charismatic rock star BF. Do you know what? I think I've improved it, actually, against all odds. I think I deserve a design award. Number seven, Caitlin Olsen, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. You got the pamphlets. Right, yep. You got the literature, which is great. Can, um, prove this. <laughs> Caitlin Olsen had only had minor appearances on screen before her Always Sunny breakthrough. But here, in what should be a fairly grim scene, with Charlie revealing that he is cancer, Olsen's mannerisms and comedic timing keep us laughing throughout. Can I get that sugar? <laughs> need a whole shitload of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> In a twist, the character was so underdeveloped at that point that the lines she read actually weren't written for Sweet D. In fact, the entire scene was not only just between Charlie and Dennis, but it also was already shot. They made the right choice casting her though, and Deandra has since become one of the most liked parts of the popular show. <laughs> What, what, what is that? What are, you, what are you doing? Sound effects. Number six, Seth Rogen, Freaks and Geeks. Well, I could work my ass off on a freighter like my dad, <laughs> or become a farmer. Before Seth Rogen started appearing in Judd Apatow movies, he was on one of his early TV shows. As Ken Miller, one of the freaks on Freaks and Geeks, he met other future stars like James Franco and Jason Segel, who he'd later go on to do other projects with. I would go, but I have a prior engagement. <laughs> My cousin just sent me a bunch of mushrooms and I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> this deadpan yet humorous audition led him to being cast in the show and catching his big break. While he doesn't appear to be his usual self, in the tape, he does drop some of his patented stoner comedy. You think that would make you happy? No. <laughs> the pot would make me happy. <laughs> the corn and cows would just be there to, to distract the heat from my main crop. <laughs> Number five, Emma Stone, Easy A. Look. I just need to set the record straight. And what better way to do that than to broadcast it here on the internet? So, here it goes. This audition has Emma Stone channeling her inner teen in a webcam confessional. Trying for the part of Olive Pendergast, 
a well-spoken high school student in the movie Easy A. Stone's comedic timing and facial expressions make it obvious why she got the part. Her character confesses that rumors about her might be her fault, but that there are always two sides to a story. Let me begin by saying that there are two sides to every story, and this is my side. The right one. Her performance in this tape net the actress her first starring role in a movie, and all without even leaving her bed. Number four, Jimmy Fallon, Saturday Night Live. She used to say uh, all the time, she'd say, why don't you go to the store with your mother? And I, <laughs> and I would say, uh, I'd say, uh, why don't you shut up? In this eight minute long audition for Saturday Night Live, Jimmy Fallon shows off his best comedic skills, doing jaw-dropping impressions of celebs, including Seinfeld, Chris Rock, and Adam Sandler. After showing the casting directors a few original characters, he takes his guitar to imitate popular musicians of the time. Sha -la 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 -ya. Wow, huh? He successfully won over the judges and made his debut on the show in 1998, reprising some of his impressions and musical humor. Love him or hate him, this audition is proof that even pre-SNL Fallon was on top of his game. My voice is annoying, my video's boring, you see only my face. Number three, TJ Miller, Yogi Bear. I'll be playing Ranger Jones in this scene, the bear will be playing Ranger Smith. While this certainly is the most unique audition on our list, despite the fact that Yogi Bear and Boo were animated in the film, T.J. Miller decided to do his screen test with an actual, real-life bear. Ranger Smith, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I want to be in charge so bad that... No, no, hold on now. Wait, wait, okay. To not be scared out of your ranger pants is one thing, but to actually interact with the bear like Miller does, and keep the audition entertaining, takes some serious skill. We already knew he was funny, but anyone willing to bounce some lines off a of bear for the sake of comedy deserves all that comes to them. Didn't we have a discussion about sexual harassment on set? Number two, various actors, The Office. I watched that special victim SVU. Never seen that. Friggin' repeat. Bonus laughter for this one. Auditions for The Office attracted a lot of current celebs. Among the unlucky are Seth Rogen, who auditioned for the role of Dwight, and Bob Odenkirk, who was a contender for Michael Scott, before Steve Carell agreed to take the role. You get the best out of us. And I say, well, hey, que sera, sera. Other celebs make appearances in these auditions too, like Eric Stone Street, Katherine Hahn, and John Cho. But what makes these great is that the camera shots make you feel like you're watching an actual, albeit weird and underproduced, episode of the show. If we can supply it to them, and if they can uh, purchase it, and I'm, I'm boring myself just talking about it. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Don't go wasting your emotion. Number one, Steve Carell, Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. A doctor will tell me that I have an IQ of 48 and am what some people call mentally retarded. Steve Carell's audition for the part of Brick Tamlin provides us with the most laughs. In his scene, Brick mistakenly takes falafel from a garbage can, which he thinks is a food basket. <laughs> <laughs> the script is already top-notch, but Carell's take on it makes it even better, leaving the crew in stitches. In fact, he gets so into it that his face ends up a completely different color than when he started. We love Anchorman, but without Carell as our favorite San Diego weatherman, it definitely would have been lacking. Rick, where'd you get a hand grenade? I don't know. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.